Hello, Good everyone. Time. time with Fresno State signee, cornerback Loyal Muzan. Thank you for joining me today. What's up? What's up? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll start with my first question. How old were you when you started playing football? I think I think I was maybe uh like five when I started. Like five ish. Yeah. You started really young. I had to, man. I I loved it. For surely did. Yeah, sure. Just the sport that you loved and you took off with it. You already know, man. What was the game against Long Beach Poly like? Um, fast, aggressive. You know what I'm saying? We was going at it. Both of us just go after score, play after play. You know what I'm saying? They were talking trash, we were talking trash. So, you know what I'm saying? Me, I'm not from Long Beach. So I don't really know what that game means. But my teammates did, so, you know what I'm saying? I just tried to match their intensity or whatnot. Yeah, so, like, for you, like, because for all of them, like, from Long Beach, that's, like, that's the in-town rivalry and all that. But, you know, you coming from New York, you're not used to, like, that chippiness of, like, the rivalry. So you're just trying to win, but it's not necessarily the understanding of the rivalry. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, they obviously got a lot of guys. They got a lot of big alumni, and then you guys got a lot of guys. So, you know, going at it. Yeah, yeah. It was a good game, man. What was your favorite high school football memory? Um, my first my first game back my junior year, because I got injured my sophomore year. My first varsity game sophomore year. So it was my first game back junior year. I had two tubs, I think like a hundred yards and like six tackles. I I played really good that game. It was a debut, man. Sure. Your first game back, you made your presence felt after waiting, I'm sure, to wanting to be on the field all season long, and you made your presence felt immediately. Immediately, man. I had to. I had something to prove, man. Yeah. What was it like going from New York to Long Beach, like for high school football? Um, It was an immediate difference in, like, who took football seriously or whatnot. And I could tell the difference, really, from New York football and like California football is the linemen. All of our linemen, besides my center, maybe were over six foot. That's not that's not really the case here in New York. You know what I'm saying? We breed basketball players, bro. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, it's like there's like players just built for football, but in New York, like you said, like you, you breed basketball players. You know, it's like like people are fit for the size of that football position. Exactly. Where in New York are you from? Uh, Rochester, New York. Nice. I'm near Buffalo. What made you pick Fresno State? Um, when I went on my OV, man, I just love I, the relationship with my DB coach. That's my guy, Coach JD is my guy, man, for real. And then when I went up there, he he told me what it was, and he let me have freedom too. He was just letting us go, do what we needed to do. So, yeah, and I like my head coach too. Me and Coach Tedford got a good relationship. I hope he's doing good. He in my prayers for sure. But yeah, it's the environment. Yeah, so the coaching staff, they trusted you, you know, let you do your thing, and they kept it real with you, like, playing time and everything. And like I said, Coach Teffer, he's a great coach. Look at what he did at Cal, and he's been doing great things at Fresno State. And like you said, yeah, getting better from his heart thing. But, yeah, we'll be back out there coaching. Yeah, excited, man. How do you think your play style fits in with the Fresno State defense? Um, my coach actually is going to use me all over the field defensive, defensively. So, like, I could be playing corner, nickel, safety some weeks. So, I like that. He's going to make me all around corner or all around defensive DB. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I hope you'll be able to play all around the field. It's like very versatile. You know, mm-hmm. like, gives you skill sets. Like, you look at Bland, who played at Fresno State, like what he's doing in the NFL. Right. What do you think your role w- will be freshman year? Um, learn. I'm about to learn a lot. Study. Learning to study is gonna be my two main goals freshman year. You know what I'm saying? Because um, yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to get in Coach JD's for rotation, so then I can see the field. But that's what I'm just working on for sure. Yeah, so it's learning, studying, seeing the game film, having the coaches that can help show you the stuff with the game film, like really dissect it. Exactly. What are you most looking forward to at Fresno State? Um, 
bowl games. I heard the bowl games are really fun. So that's why I'm excited for the bowl games and our first game of the season. And our first game of the season. Yeah, bowl games, like you said, you know, you get to go travel up early, you get to have a fun experience. And, you know, especially like, like if you win the Mountain West, you get to go to the LA Bowl. So you get to play at SoFi. And then, like you said, first game of the season at Michigan in the big house. So that would be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That would be a cool experience. That leads me into my next question. So I was going to say this season you get to go to Michigan and UCLA. What kind of opportunities do you think that is for you and the team? Man, it's a great opportunity to show that we are we could, like, play with Power 5 or, like, anybody in the country, man. So, and then my opportunity for me, man, is, you know what I'm saying, to showcase my skills against the best best competitions. And I, I mean, that's what I look forward to, man. And we play UCLA home, so I'm very excited for that. Yeah, so that would definitely be two great experiences, like you said, you know, getting to compete and showing that you can compete with the Power 5 teams. And like you said, for you, you know, you get to cover the guys that are going to be going to the NFL, so that helps lead those scouts that are there. They can see you, how you're locking them down. And like you said, just competing. And then, yeah, I saw it because UCLA got scheduled for, like, 2028. The deal was playing at home in Stanford. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be really cool. And Washington State's coming to Fresno. Yeah, yes, they is. Yeah. How do you describe yourself off the field? Um, pretty chill, you know what I'm saying? I don't really do too much. Sit home, watch TV, you know, chill with the guys. As if I'm not, like, you know, working out or training or whatever yeah. it is, maybe. But, yeah, sometimes I do that with them as well, but, you know what I'm saying? I just be chill. Yeah, because, you know, obviously you got a lot of time that you're training and everything, but... So you kind of want to take advantage, just chill, like relax, you know, from all the training they've been doing, hanging out with the guys. Yeah. And the last question I was for fun. You get to take yeah. any three NFL players to dinner. They could be past or present. Who are you taking? First one off the rip is Deion Sanders. Quick. That's quick. Then, right. Yeah, for sure. Then then I'm going to say two Darrell Revis. I'm going to say Darrell Revis. Then my third one – my third one going to be Jalen Ramsey. Jaylen Those Ramsey. are all great corners. Yeah. All lockdowns, like, like in Dion, obviously, in prime primetime. Like, he was crazy. For, and then I fell down, like you said, Darrell Revis, Revis Island. You know, no one was better than him. Same with Jalen Ramsey. He's a shutdown corner. Yeah. So, he began a lot of good experience and all entertaining guys, too, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> funny. All right, thank you for taking the time to join me today. Yes, sir, bro. I got you. Thank you.